so the chi squared test um if you don't know how to do it you do need to go back and read up on that there's there's a couple of parts of the chi squared test one is the uh the calculator process and the other one is understanding where the um the expected values and chi values come from um and somebody's obviously uh, a little bit unsure on um expected frequencies so expected frequency the expected frequency the expected value of x is the row total uh, times the column total divided by the overall total so that's everyone so that's um that's how you work that out so we're expected the, the, the expected frequency of students choosing the science category and obtaining 31 to 40. So we're looking at the expected number of people in that category. So our row total is here, our column total is here, and our overall total is there. So it'll be 260 times 157 divided by 800. Um, and that answer might not necessarily be an integer. Um, and if it's not, give it to three significant figures as normal. Okay, um, so that was the question on the chi-squared. Nobody commented on the other part of the chi-squared. Um, if you are having issues, then we, we can look at those in another lesson if you are unsure of that. Um, but go back and have a look at that question if you, if you haven't already done it um, and let me know if there's anything you need to know about that. Um, are there any questions on uh, question 1D? I don't want to get involved in all the other chi-squared stuff at the moment um, because I've got a lot to get through in not much time now. Um, but does anybody have any questions about that? No? Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Afton. Okay. Right. Um, 